It's going to be very different in my view. If you think about today, we're dominated by the use of smartphones still as the primary mobile device. The smartphone is just a communications device, a fancy one, nice screen, etc. And we rely on it, but we're just texting, messaging, email, phone. Uh, that's what we use it for, a little bit of web browsing and some distractions, you know, gaming and whatever. But the future is actually very different than that. The future is actually more about two things. Machines communicating, not just people. But people move from using these communications devices to using a thing like a tablet, which is not a communications device, but is actually a cloud consumption device. It's designed to actually consume media and content in a big screen and on a mobile network. So those things, both the advent of lots of small things, the machines, and many, many larger things, tablets, radically change how we have to build networks. Because suddenly we have massive scalability for control, for machines, and massive scalability for capacity for tablets. So those two things really radically change the future network relative to today, and there are a number of ingredients I can talk about that go into that change. Well, if we start at the access layer, if you think about offering a cloud service to a end device, that doesn't make any sense if you don't have a high capacity network in between. You can argue the worst thing you could do is take a service that's running as an app locally and put it 100 kilometers away and have no control of the network in between. So really what we have to do is build ultra high capacity networks to connect the hand or the machine to the cloud. So that's step number one and that's all about ultra broadband networks in particular because that's where the biggest constraint is typically in the access network. So it's ultra broadband wireless, which means small cells and LTE, and ultra-broadband wireline, which means things like VDSL, vectoring, G.fast, and GPON, all those fancy terms. So that's one part. Then we have to actually build a core network that that connects to. And the interesting part is that core network now increasingly is moving inside the data center. The te technologies that we used in what we call the wide area network for, for telcos are now moving inside the data center. So I have an end-to-end -end connection now from a virtual machine really a single application running in the cloud all the way through the data center, through the core, through the ultra broadband access. That's the future network, all driven by this change in behavior I described, the move away from just smartphones to machines and tablets. And well, we've been at the forefront of actually taking telco networking technologies like IPMPLS, a large part of what's traditionally gone on at Broadband World Forum, by the way, uh, and moving those into the data center so we can support what's called multi-tenancy, many applications co-residing with different QoS and different security policies. So we've been leading that, taking our routing portfolio, moving it inside the data center with a new startup we have called NewArch. We've been writing a cloud orchestration layer for virtualizing the network and running it inside data centers. It's another dimension of change, so we've been working on that. And then increasingly, we're scaling our broadband networks uh, by implementing small cells and fiber to the node as well as fiber to the home. So really end to end, we're innovating to help create that reality. It is an institution, but in a good way. <laughs> there are the bad institutions, this is one of the good ones. Uh, I actually think it's, it's very nice that we see now, not just it focused on the broadband as an isolated domain in a network. But as we brought in the MPLS piece, we're bringing in SDN and NFE, it's really a, a rich set of discussions that go on at Broadband World Forum now. It almost needs to change the name to Ultra Broadband or Ultra Cloud uh, World Forum. It's just, it's really taken off, I think, as a conference covering the end-to-end -end aspects much more than it used to in the past. So it's very satisfying to see.